Hey guys, it's Anna from Bright Lane Gardens. I'm continuing my indoor gardening series and today we're gonna to talk about hydroponics. If you've been following my channel for a little while, you'll know that I do both soil gardening and hydroponic gardening during the winter season to keep my plants on a continuous rotation so that I can have a year round harvest. I've been growing with hydroponics for several years now. I'll admit it has a learning curve to it. So it's a method of gardening that didn't come naturally to me. It was a huge learning curve when I first got started. And it was a really big struggle for me to figure out which type of system would fit my needs the best and would be easier for me to catch on to as a beginner. I can honestly say I think I found the absolute perfect system for beginner hydroponic gardeners. So I'm actually going to kind of demonstrate that today. I'll tell you a little bit more about why this system is an all-inclusive great option for beginners and just the low level of learning curve when it comes to a system like this. So in the past, I always have recommended the DWC or deep water water culture method for beginners when it comes to hydroponics. Grab that five gallon bucket, get the accessories that you need, pick up a pump and grab your nutrients. From there, you can dive right into hydroponics and grow a pretty wide variety of plants because a five gallon bucket allows quite a bit of space for those roots. Today's system is actually going to be a hydroponic tower and it does have more of a drip system set up than a deep water culture system. That is the Garden Hydroponic Tower. And you might have seen this advertised somewhere on social media. I know I've been looking at it for a couple years. Well, I finally got one and I have to admit they have won the game when it comes to creating an all-in-one set that is perfect for beginners. I'm in my plant room right now and it's not in here. The reason for that is because it is honestly such a beautiful device that I stuck it right out in my living room. So we're actually going to take the show up to the living room and I'll walk through exactly what the Garden Hydroponic Tower has to offer. So this is the Garden Hydroponic Studio Tower. This is actually the smaller of the two kits that they offer. I thought this was the perfect size to fit this space here and I had a blank wall with nothing on it. So I thought what better to make the white stand out than some green plants in here. So as you can see, this guy is about three and a half, maybe four feet tall and he comes with absolutely everything that you need. So let's walk through a little bit more about what this system includes. At the bottom here, this is going to be my water reservoir. I've already added three gallons of water to it. It can hold up to five, and on average, we're gonna keep it right between three and four gallons of water. This top part opens, this little leaf insert here, and this is actually where you would go ahead and put your water as well as your nutrients, which of course the nutrients are included with the kit as well. There is a built-in pump located down here in the reservoir. That pump is going to pump water up through a hidden tube that's inside of this PVC pipe here. And that's what's gonna enable each and every one of these pod locations to get sufficient water. Both sides do have this tubing that comes up and this front part here is actually going to be my built-in LED light. And it even has a little built-in camera on it, which is adorable because who doesn't love to look at their plants during the day while they're at work? As a whole, the system itself was ridiculously easy to assemble. I am not one that enjoys the engineering part of putting things together. I usually dread anything with a lengthy instruction manual. And start to finish, this took me about 22 minutes to assemble. So overall, it was a really easy product for me to handle on my own, get it assembled, and get it up and running. So along with all of the necessary infrastructure that you would need to get started on your hydroponic garden, this set actually came with the nutrients that are needed. These are a powdered form of nutrients that you would scoop with this little scoop here and put right into this front entrance that I showed you. It also came with my seed starter set. So in here, these are called Y cubes. The Y cubes go into my Y pods, which is this little device here. And that is actually where my seeds will be stored. So these Y cubes are filled with a rock wool substance. You can see it kind of peeking through the sides there, and there are seeds already planted in the top of each one of these cubes. So every single one of these garden studio kits do come with a starter set of seeds, but there are so many seeds online to choose from, including some really pretty flowers. The hibiscus flower is one that I've had my eye on personally. So you have a really wide range of plants that you can choose to grow using these cubes. You can also load your own rock wool cubes and put them into the garden system as well. So a ton of options when it comes to which plants you're able to actually grow in the system. So my first goal today 
now that I have everything completely installed and assembled, I want to go ahead and put in my Y cubes so I can start my seeds. This kit did come with 16 Y cubes to start and there are 16 slots in here. So that enables me to have a full tower right off the bat. There are some additional seeds I'm going to order after this just as a backup in case some of these don't germinate or just to have some nice variety. Like I said, I really want to do some of those flowers so we can have a pop of color here on this white wall. So from here, I'm just going to pluck out these Y cubes. And it's super helpful because you can actually see they have a couple basic light instructions down here. And then at the top, it does go ahead and label it for you. This is really helpful, especially during that young seedling phase when everything kind of looks similar. You'll actually know what you're growing, what's doing well, and what is struggling. So I'm going to install these. There is a placement guide on the package, actually, so that came with this really handy QR code. You can scan it. It takes you to a placement guide of where the best location is to place your plants. I'm going to wing it this first time around because I like to do things like that. So I'm just going to kind of place these haphazardly. We can always move them later if need be. And once I do start to get some root growth on these guys, I'll show you guys some techniques for that as well. These Y cubes do also come with these little cardboard covers over top. This is just to protect the seeds from falling out in transit. So these can be removed and you can see I actually have a seed popping right out of the rock wool on the very top there. Now that I have all of my Y cubes planted, I'm going to go ahead and turn my system on so we can start to cycle the water through. I was able to get my garden powered up and connected to the mobile app. So garden does come with a mobile app that is going to support you. It's also going to set your schedule for your pumps and your lights based on your time zone, which again is great for beginners because that was a whole other task for me to figure out at the beginning of my journey was how to time out my pumps as well as my light schedule. It's marked that today is going to be my seed sowing date and it will plan out the light schedule accordingly according to how long it will take those seeds to germinate. It also is going to run my pump for me, which again is hidden down in this reservoir down here. And that is what's going to feed that water to my plants. Eventually I will also be adding these included nutrients into the water reservoir down here. Of course, I'm not going to add those nutrients right away because these little seeds in the Y pods have all the nutrients that they need to get that plant started. This is such a clever little device. It will even send me little notifications if it notices an issue with the system or if it notices something like my water level is getting low. It's going to send me reminders when I need to add those nutrients into the water reservoir down below. So it's really this smart all-in-one system that takes a lot of the guesswork and a lot of that learning curve out of the equation if you're a beginner in the hydroponic scene. I am at the very beginning of my journey with my garden hydroponic system, but I'm so excited to buy a few more Y pods and see how much I can grow over this winter season. If you are new to hydroponics, then you might not know this, but a lot of times your hydroponic plants are going to mature significantly faster than they would in soil, especially with your herbs and leafy greens. So those are two plants that I highly recommend starting with if you're just starting out your journey to hydroponics. And of course, you don't need to start off with a massive system if you're just getting started with it. That's why I was so excited that Garden did offer that smaller studio setup that I just showed you. Their other setup actually has twice as many plants, two of those lights that you saw on the front there, and the larger reservoir. So it's really nice to be able to cater to whatever your needs are and whatever your level is. Now, of course, there's so many more systems than just hydroponic towers out there, but the point of this video is to show you something that would be super beginner friendly and really help you overcome that initial learning curve as you discover what type of system would be best for your home and to suit your needs. This is my first journey with the garden hydroponic tower. This is my first journey with a hydroponic tower in general. I've really only ever done um, tote systems or bucket systems before. So I really love the look of it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. I'm super excited to have my plants be kind of the center of my living space versus tucked away in this adorable plant room that I love. But really we, we've tucked away a lot of our food producing plants for the season. And I love being able to showcase that tower as kind of the center of our living room there. So that's a huge perk in my eyes. I love how quiet the pump is. I love how compact the system is and the fact that I can grow 16 plants 
in an area that's about two square feet. So that's really impressive in my eyes. I loved that the kit was all inclusive and came with everything that I needed to get started. And overall, I felt like this was a really good investment for a beginner looking to get started on their hydroponic journey. If the garden hydroponic tower is something that you wanna learn more about or are interested in purchasing one, I do also have a coupon code in the description below. It should be that first link that you come across. So definitely click into that. You'll get a coupon for some savings on either the studio or the full size tower. Definitely check out their website. They have a lot of great information to offer and I'll be posting updates on my system as soon as we start to see some sprouts. I can't wait to post you some updates as I start to see some of my seeds germinate. We should start to see some of those leafy greens germinate within the week. So I'll definitely have some reels coming up and I'll do an update video on how those plants are performing and when I can get my first harvest from my hydroponic tower. This is just the beginning of our indoor gardening journey. We're focusing on our seed starting right now, but I have a lot more coming up in terms of gardening in small spaces, how to get as many plants to produce as much produce as possible indoors, and tips and tricks for managing pests, parasites, mildew, fungus, and all of the other fun stuff that comes along with gardening in an indoor space. We're just getting started, so if you want to have a green thumb this winter, definitely set up your alerts and subscribe to our channel so that you know when the next video drops. If you have any questions on my experiences so far with the Garden Hydroponic Tower or any of my hydroponic experiences in the past, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section below. And if you're interested in learning more about hydroponics in general, then you'll definitely want to subscribe to our channel and set up your alerts so that you know when our next hydroponics video drops. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to tune in with us today, and I sure hope to catch you next time. Bye-bye.